We need to provide access to, to finance, but also we need to provide access to markets. Just to emphasize the importance of markets, uh, we had a program out, <coughs> outside Lilongwe where we did a very good uh, uh, program in terms of introducing low-cost irrigation systems. And these farmers moved from producing 20 drum heads in a season to 3,000, one farmer. And so when we took visitors there to say, we want to show you a success story, uh, one of the visitors asked the farmer, how do you look at this new technology? And the farmer said, this technology is very bad. And we got so embarrassed, said, oh, wait, wait a minute. It's very bad, why? Because I used to produce 20 drum head. I could take 10 on my push bike, sell to the nearby market, and uh, eat the rest or share with my neighbors. Now I'm, I'm stuck with 3,000 drum heads. What do I do with this? <laughs> so we, we, said, we said, yeah, I think the farmer has a point. We need to address the market first before we start talking about production. And if he, as if that was not enough, after three months, these farmers now started making money, but they were not paying back the loans. OK, so we said, OK, what is the problem? Let's invite both husband and wife to the meeting. And then we introduced the topic. We said, you see, you are not paying. This is the, we have only two months left, and we are going to get the pump or the equipment from you, because that was used as a collateral. And the women stood up and said, no, this, this, is, this is not true. Our husband have been telling us that he, they have paid off. We said, no, it's 50%. And the women said, no, 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 this is unacceptable because uh, these husbands have been cheating us. And they were saying that right in front of the husband, and the husband were just looking down to say, oh, wait a minute, what is happening? <laughs> so we, we, we have also realized in our, in our program that it's very important to deal with women as well as to deal with the youth. I think the women are very powerful. When I was in a meeting with the UN women in Malawi, I emphasized the point. She disagreed with me, said, Zwide, you are cheating. The women are marginalized. I said, no, I'm a married person. I know how powerful women. She, that, my wife would not talk in the public, but when we are at home, she's in control. So, so let's, uh, let's really think about women as we are talking about investing uh, in, in, uh, in forest products as well as uh, investing in agro-based uh, enterprises. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.